Hey guys, Ivan here and we got a couple of very interesting topics for this video. Currently, we are one day out of Mr. Big Evolution aka Portugal Pro and I pulled out a list for you guys right here, so we're gonna do a little preview to start this video off with. So as you can see, the list is rather interesting. A lot of popular names of the currently active bodybuilders who competed in the past couple of shows, but also we got another comeback of Lionel Biecki. Before we continue guys, I just gotta tell you about the Vintage Brawn, an amazing tasting protein powder by the old school labs. As you can see, it's whey, it's cousin, it's egg white and beef protein. And when you have it, when you eat it, it actually kind of feels like real food. Your body is digesting it, you feel full afterwards. So it's a great meal replacement. And currently, like I order a couple of very good flavors, for example, birthday cake, and I love this flavor, guys. I'm making all these awesome recipes. Whenever I feel like cheating, I just have some whey powder. Let me show you actually one of my recipes that I like to make. So the top layer is vintage brown uh, birthday cake flavor mixed with uh, cottage low-fat cheese, protein cheese. And below I think I had oatmeal or sometimes it's uh, cream of rice or uh, grits and uh, it's combined with the vintage brown uh, chocolate flavor. So I gotta have my base of chocolate, then on top I have uh, this uh, sort of cream basically, but it's protein cream. And I add some bananas, uh, some berries, uh, whichever ones you like you can add, some cinnamon and maybe a little bit of sweetener and it tastes like freaking real, I don't know, cake ice cream cake or something like that you can combine different flavors you can make a thousand different recipes so this is a life hack that i found literally whenever i feel hungry i don't cheat i just have a combination of different whey flavors actually protein powder flavors with uh, other ingredients and it tastes amazing guys it kills your cravings it makes you full and vintage brown has perfect flavors for these kind of recipes and the perfect structure for it as well uh, consistency of it is just really good for these kind of meals so guys trust me try out any of the old school labs vintage brown flavors and if you want to support me and you want a 15 percent discount just use code even that's it thank you guys so much now let's get back to portugal pro and lionel biecki so the last time we saw this guy he made a comeback he looked nothing like he used to look back in the day he looked natural uh he looked at least off season not guest posing shape but like deep off season going off the cycle something like that i don't know what the hell was wrong why the hell did he compete looking like that it was totally wrong a um, couple of times before that actually years prior to that he was announcing that he was gonna compete but he never showed up he always came up with excuses in the end he showed up at that last show in france you know, Moto pro show france he had no excuses that time because it was in france where he lives he showed up looking like a mess what do we expect from him now i have zero clue whatsoever he didn't post anything on his social media i still do not understand why he showed up at this show even i mean this was embarrassing and he left us with this horrible memory of him instead of remembering him this way this was i believe 2017 and in that time people used to talk about lionel as the new flex wheeler the, the better bigger flex wheeler he never really figured out his conditioning he was always a little bit off not the way he was off last time we saw him on stage but he was never super shredded is he gonna bring something like this if he does then he can win this show he can win this show but i mean based on what i saw the last time i really don't know what to expect from him he's truly a wild card uh, if he shows up in condition and like this then yeah i have him winning the show but i don't i don't, I don't expect that to happen no roman fritz is doing this show as well the last show he did uh, that Ampro cup spain he ended up in fifth uh, what do i expect from him at this show I don't know if he's gonna show up better or worse. If I was a batting man, I would say he's gonna be on a flatter side because last time he was very full and his body is like, it's a machine, it's crazy. He needs to really go heavy with food, with carbs in order to stay full. And I don't know if he's gonna be that aggressive. So, and based on this video as well, he does look a little bit flatter, which is usual, which is normal couple of days before the show he, he, he has time he definitely has time to carb up to fill out 
but is he going to be able to is he going to be able to be as full as he was in spain or even fuller and bigger which would be a definitely uh, a help for him because he is built he's always built it's always fullness that he's lacking so if he brings better fullness and overall a little bit more improved package best case scenario for roman is second place i could see him being in that second place in this lineup let's go with the other guys let's check who he needs to beat in order to play second this is one of the guys peter klancher from over here from balkans from croatia to be exact um, i cheer for this guy i want to see him do well i want to see him win this show but I don't think that's gonna happen, really. I think he improved his conditioning from Spain. I think he is more conditioned now. But there are some flaws with his physique. Uh, for example, leg size. Uh, also, like the, the length of his torso. Uh, the high lats. There are flaws. Back also could be uh, more deep. It's improved, but it could be deeper. Uh, so, yeah. I, I mean, I would love to see him win the show. But if I'm being honest and non-biased... Yeah, I don't see that. I see Roman beating him as well. The heavy favorite, the guy that is most, most likely going to win this show, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that he's going to win this show, is Andrea Presti, of course. Uh, he just pushed Crisio at Spain Pro. I thought he was going to win at one point. Like It was very, very close, if you ask me. Uh, the reason why he couldn't beat Crisio, in my opinion, is the imbalance, uh, upper to lower body, the asymmetry. Uh, even though it's improved, I think uh, Presti needs to bring up his lower body. I think his upper body is just too wide. Uh, his shoulders are just too wide. His back is too wide. It's crazy, actually. And when you have super wide shoulders like that structurally, and you also add massive delts on top of that and like big lats. You need to match it with humongous legs. And he doesn't have humongous legs. His legs are fine, but they definitely need to be bigger. So that's why he's not like winning against the top, top pros. Why he's not placing top 10 at the Olympia. But in this kind of a caliber of a show, yeah, I think he's winning this rather easily. The only, let's say, challenge in this show that he's going to have could potentially be Vlad Suharuchko. This is a very, very impressive photo. These two poses right here of Vlad. He posted this a couple of days ago. He is doing Portugal Pro, of course. And when you look at his photos on his IG, he looks like the Mr. Olympia. Like, he looks bigger than Nick Walker, basically. He looks super impressive. He has crazy photos. He usually has crazy vascularity. He has crazy structure that just looks insane. And like he already knows how to take a photo. Apparently, obviously, this photo was taken in the mirror. And this mirror is making him look wider than he is. So he's not this big. He is humongous. He's really big. They just measured him at 120 kilos. Actually, 120.7, which is 265. Guys, 265. So he is a mass monster. He is a proper mass monster. He's really, really massive. Now, the question is, is he going to be conditioned? Well, he looks conditioned, all right, to me. Uh, it's probably a lot of vascularity. I don't think I see a lot of details. So he maybe won't be super detailed on that stage, but I think he's going to be pretty lean. What I am more worried about is how his delts and his arms and his lats are going to look like on stage because that was the biggest issue of Vlad Suharuchko. He has a lot of oil in those body parts. I mean, is that sight enhancement oil? Is it just gear that he's putting a lot of it, like in the delts and and, and and lats? I don't know, but it's very obvious. It's very it's very it's very visible. Uh, let me show you a guest posing from a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you get the idea basically right here. It's not the condition that he's gonna present on stage, but you can still see what I'm talking about. Look at those delts. I mean, look at the size of those delts compared to uh, the size of the arms. And look at the lats. Like, they're definitely looking very, very suspicious. Once again, a mass monster, a freak for sure. But, yeah, on stage, not as impressive as he's on Instagram. Look at the front double. Not the best structure, right? He looks even smaller than he really is because of that structure. And now here, I mean, yeah, very impressive, most muscular. He's gonna dwarf some people, but... Even his legs don't look that good on stage, especially not compared to what they look like on IG. Uh, look at the lats right here. Actually, the delts. Look at the delts. 
Definitely, look at it. Very, very suspicious. Very, uh, actually, I would say very visible oil. So, yeah, the judges will notice this. Absolutely, they will punish him for that. And I don't think he's going to be second. I think he's going to be like out of top five because of this. And he should. I don't care how big you are, how freak you are. If you have visible oil everywhere, you will be punished for it. And that's the rules. And I like that. Oil doesn't flex. Fat doesn't flex. Gyno doesn't flex. Like Milo Sarcho likes to say, if it doesn't flex, it's not muscle. And we don't want to see that on stage. This is bodybuilding. So I hope these guys will be punished for that. I'm sure they will. Uh, so yeah, that's the list. Uh, you guys tell me who do you think is going to win. Personally, I have Andrea Presti easily winning this show in second. Uh, I would have Vlad potentially even winning this show if he didn't have that issue. But yeah, I would say, I, I will say Roman Fritz in second. What do you guys think? All right, next up, we got some very interesting news. Uh, this is Stefan Matala. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but he has a very exceptional classic physique and he is having his pro debut at the Portugal Pro at the Big Man uh, Evolution. So... So he went over there and at the check-ins, uh, he measured, of course, his height and his weight. And this was captured on camera. And this uh, very popular bodybuilding Instagram page, who is the best bodybuilder, uh, made this post, basically accusing him of cheating at the weigh-in. Uh, what was he doing here? How was he cheating? Uh, well, no, this is not measuring his weight. He cannot fly, so he can't make himself lighter on the scale. Uh, it's not that. Uh, they're actually measuring his height right here. And he's doing something weird with his feet. Now, as long as his uh, uh, heels are planted, uh, he's good. He can do whatever he wants with his fingers. It's not going to make him any taller. Now, I compete. I measure my height very often. And I will say that all of us, we always do a little bit of something, like we lift our heads up as much as possible, we all try to get as tall as possible to be able to weigh as much as possible, which is completely normal, it's fine, but if you're caught cheating, then <laughs> that's definitely not good. Now, is he really cheating here? Is he really doing something? I mean, it does look suspicious. But I don't see him really changing anything about his height. Uh, as far as I can see, his, uh, his heels are planted in. They are on the ground. So I don't see him really making himself any taller. So I would be interested to hear you guys. What do you think is happening here? Uh, am I missing something? Why did this page make this, this post? As you can see in the description of this uh, post as well, uh, they are saying that he was allowed to weigh 98 kilos, but at his height, he was supposed to be able to weigh only 94 kilos. So they allowed him additional 4 kilos, which is like almost 10 pounds, 9 pounds. And that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. So if it is a mistake, then it's a horrible mistake. This is out on IG, everybody can see it. If it is a mistake, it should probably be corrected. But if, the, if, if this page is actually making a mistake, hopefully somebody will tell us what exactly is going on here. Because if this is true, what they're saying, this really wouldn't be fair towards the other competitors. I know this Stefan guy is very popular and I want to see him on that stage in classic physique, uh, having his pro debut right there in that competition. But... I don't care, man. I mean, if, if this wasn't done correctly, it's not fair. The other competitors are killing themselves to make the weight. And if this guy is going to be 9 pounds heavier than he is allowed to in this category, then, yeah, that, that would be a horrible mistake. And I hope it's going to be corrected before it happens, before the show happens. Or that at least we're going to hear some kind of an explanation. What do you guys think? At 17 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, we got a little update of Nick Walker. And as you can see right here, he says that he is 290 pounds in the morning. Fasted weight, guys. So he is probably close to 300 in the evening when he's measuring himself after he had like five meals and a whole bunch of water. And if he's wearing some clothes as well. If he measures himself in the gym, like uh, in the mid-workout, he's probably 300 pounds. So... Yeah, this guy is <laughs> for five foot seven. That's really massive. And what is impressing me even more is his conditioning. Look at a freaking conditioning at 17 weeks out as well. 
So yeah, what his package is gonna look like on that stage, that's gonna be very interesting. Now, guys, if you're asking me who I want to see win the Olympia, I would say Nick Walker. I would love to see this guy win the Olympia. Not because of his physique, but because of like a combination of his physique and his personality. But do I think he will deserve to win the show? Because whoever deserves to win the show is going to win the show. I don't know about that. I know he's really big. I know he's really heavy. And that he's going to dwarf some people probably. But I don't know about this structure. And he's always taking these photos right here in the same spot. Uh, under the same lighting. So you can exactly see what is happening to his physique. And I think this is great to send to a coach. But it's not really that exciting for us. I would love to see more photos like from different angles, different poses, uh, different lighting. It would definitely be more exciting, more interesting. Now, as far as these photos, once again, conditioning is just extraordinary. It's crazy for 17 weeks out and for this weight. And as far as his physique, mm, I don't know. I think his legs are still looking kind of flat. Maybe it's because his upper body grew even more. Maybe the balance is, I don't know, thrown off a little. Uh, you can see the glutes and the conditioning in the hamstrings and the lower back. Like, for 17 weeks out, for 290 pounds, this is insane, man. This is crazy. Like, he can be ready in three weeks if he really wanted to. But, of course, he's going to take his sweet time. And slowly, he's going to get just bigger and better and, and harder and, like, more conditioned. Uh, look at the side chest. I mean, look at that, the chest separation right there. Uh, look at the hardness in the arms and also in the uh, side leg, in the glutes and the hamstrings. Crazy conditioning, once again. Uh, and the most muscular also looking really, really freaky. But, yeah, do I... I mean... <laughs> We are talking about him winning the best show in the world, uh, becoming the best bodybuilder in the world. And the competition today is like really fierce. I mean, he has Derek Lancer, Samson Dow at the heart of Japan. So, yeah, it's going to be very tough for him to win the Olympia. I would love to see that happen, but do I think it's going to? I would rather bet on somebody like Derek or Samson. But you guys be my guest. Tell me what do you think down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Check out the Old School Apps website. The link is down below. Use the code EVAN if you want to support me and this channel. Once again, guys, thank you so much. All the best and bye-bye.